Today's video is very special as I am going to solve 4 mark sums from linear equation in 2 variables. Hi! Namaste! Welcome to my YouTube channel. In first sum there is an activity. What is told? I am a rectangle. My length is y and breadth is x. And here are the two arrows. On arrows there are some conditions which are given. And by reading these conditions we have to form equation 1 and equation 2. Then we have to solve that equation and finally we are going to get length and breadth of rectangle. So what does this arrow express? The sum of my length and breadth is 36. Here keep in mind that length is y and breadth is x. And sum of length and breadth is given that is 36. Therefore, first equation will be x plus y is equals to 36. Look here on this arrow what is given that my breadth is. What is breadth? That is x. My breadth is 5 upon 7 times length. 5 upon 7 times length. Length is y. Just we will simplify that and we will get the second equation. So first equation is x plus y is equals to 36. And let us simplify x is equals to 5 upon 7y. This 7 will go here up. So 7x and 5y if it moves towards the left hand side there will be negative 5y that is equals to 0. So this is my second equation. Now look here. Here I am going to eliminate y. Why I have decided that I will eliminate y? Because here it is positive and here it is negative. So if opposite signs are there it is very easy to eliminate. Here it is 5 which is the coefficient of y. So I want here also 5. So I will multiply equation 1 by 5. So multiply equation 1 by 5. So what will be that equation? 5x plus 5y is equals to 36 into 5 that is 180. And this is my equation number 3. Now let us add equation 2 and 3. Add equation 2 and 3. So let us add it. So what is that? 7x minus 5y is equals to 0 plus 5x plus 5y is equals to 180. 7x plus 5x 12x. Negative 5y plus 5y cancel. 180 plus 0 that is 180. Therefore x is equals to 180 upon 12. 6 2 some. 6 3 some. 2 1 some. 2 15 some. Therefore x is equals to 15. Therefore, what is x? That is breadth is equals to 15 union. So, I got breadth. Now, I have to find the length. And for that, I am going to use equation number 1. So, put the value of x in equation 1. Put the value of x in equation 1. So, in place of what is the equation x plus y is equals to 36. In place of x let us put is 50. So, y is equals to 36 minus 15 and y is equals to 21. Therefore, length is equals to 21 unit. Thus, we got the length of rectangle which is 21 unit. And breadth of rectangle that is equals to 15 units. So now we are on second sum and this is also an activity based question. Here we have to read the instruction then we have to prepare the equation and finally by using these two equations which are prepared by us we have to solve and find the values of x and y. So what is given let us see. Father's age, let us take x years. 
and son's age let us take y here this side arrow one instruction is given and this second arrow also having second instruction so from first instruction we have to prepare equation 1 and from second instruction we have to prepare equation number 2 so what is the first instruction that father's age is three times as old as his son's age so what is father's age x and if we multiply son's age by 3 they are equal so x is equals to 3 y. Therefore, if 3y I will shift here, x minus 3y is equals to 0. That is my equation number 1. And what is the second instruction? That is, the difference between their ages is 30 years. Means from father age, if I subtract son's age, there is a difference of 30 years. So, x minus y is equals to 30. This is my second equation x minus y is equals to 30. So, I am going to eliminate x and both the x having coefficient which is 1 but both are positive. So, what I am going to do? I am going to subtract equation 1 from 2. Subtract equation 1 from 2. So, first of all, I will write second equation x minus y is equals to 30 minus, let us subtract first one. And whenever we are subtracting, we have to change the signs. So, this x which is positive will be negative, negative 3y will be positive and 0, we can't change the sign. 0 is neither negative number nor positive number. So, there is no need to change sign here. Now see x minus x it is cancelled. 3y minus y that is 2y. 2y is equals to 30 plus 0 that is 30. Therefore y is equals to 30 upon 2. Therefore y is equals to 15 years. So what is the age of sum? That is 15 years. Let us put this in equation 1 and find out the age of father. So, put the value of y in equation 1. So, x minus 3y is equals to 0. In place of y, let us put it 15. So, 15 is a 45. So, x is equals to 45 years. So, what is father's age? The father's age is 45 years and son's age is 15 years. So, let's write that answer. Father's age is 45 years and son's age 15 years. Thus, we obtain both the equation, we have solved the equation and find out the values of father and son. So, now we are on third sum and here also few instructions are given and we have to read the instruction form the linear equation into variable and then we have to solve. So, let us see which instructions are given and prepare a linear equation. So, what is that? The digit at tens place is x and digit at unit place is y. So, tens place x is there and unit place y is there. So, which will be the digit? The number is equals to tens place x is there. So, 10x and unit place y. So, 10x plus y is our original number. Now let us read the instructions and prepare the equation number 1 that the number is. So which was that number? That is 10x plus y. So 10x plus y is 4 times sum of the digit. 4 times means we have to multiply 4 by sum of the digit and sum of digit is x plus y. So, from this information, let us prepare equation number 1 by solving this. So, what is that? 10x plus y is equals to 4 into 
x plus y. So open the bracket. What we will get? 4x plus 4y. Let us take both here at left hand side. So 10x plus y minus 4x minus 4y is equals to 0. So 10x minus 4x that is 6x and y minus 4y minus 3y is equals to 0. Divide equation by 3. Then what we will get? 3, I divide 6x upon 3 that is 2x. 3y minus upon 3 that is equals to y is equals to 0. So this is my equation number 1. Now let us read the instructions which are at the right hand side. And what is that instruction? The number formed by interchange in the digit. Original number is 10x plus y. If I interchange this, then what will happen? The new number will be 10y plus x. So what they are saying, the number formed by interchanging, that is 10y plus x is equals to 2 original number. 2 into original number 10x plus y minus 9. So from this information we will get a second equation. So let us put that what is given 10y plus x is equals to 2 into 10x plus y minus 9. Let us open the bracket. So now look here. 10y minus 2y that is equals to 8y. And x minus 20x that is minus 19x is equals to minus 9. So this is my equation number 2. Now here 8y which is positive and here y is negative. So if I multiply equation 1 by 8, here I will get negative 8y and here already positive 8y. So we can eliminate y. So let's multiply equation 1. by 8. So what will happen to y? That is negative y will become negative 8y. Positive 8 to sub 16x is equals to 0. Now we have to add both the equations. If I will add equation 2 and 3, easily I can eliminate y. So add equation 2 and 3. So let's add what is equation 2 that is 8y minus 19x is equals to minus 9 plus negative 8y plus 16x is equals to 0. Positive 8y, negative 8y they are cancelled and negative 16x plus 16x that is negative 3x is equals to negative 9. So x is equals to negative 9 upon negative 3, x is equals to 3. So I got value of x which is 3. I am going to put it in equation 1 and get the value of y. So put the value of x. In equation 1. So 3 to the 6. 3 to the 6 minus y is equals to 0. Therefore y is equals to 6. So I got value of x which is 3. And value of y which is 6. And what is the number? That is 10x plus y. So number. Let me write here answer. The number. What is that number? 10x plus y. So 10 into 3 plus 6 and that is equals to 10 into 3 that is 30 plus 6, 36. So what is that number which we are asked to find which is a two digit number? That number is 36 as x is at tens place and y is at unit place. X we got 3, Y we got 6 and the two digit number is 36. If you like today's my teaching and you are daily watching my videos, please I request everyone to like it, share it and subscribe it. Thank you all.